Another platinum camo down. Today we are unlocking platinum on the SMG. So that means I've got the ARs done, the battle rifles, and now the SMG. So we're moving on. I'm going to be showing you me unlocking it and also some gameplay with the camo on the MP7. Also, do me a favor for the grind, run the likes up on today's video, man. If you haven't already, drop a like. It helps with the algorithm too. If you are new around here, subscribe to the channel, join the gang, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. I am wasting no time. Platinum SMGs, let's go. <laughs> So much going on. Now I'm not gonna win if I don't stop it right here. Let's get a nuke too. <laughs> All right, boys, we're about to unlock the last gold SMG. We just need a few more three kill streaks, and then we'll have it. There's one. I think we needed exactly four more three kill streaks, so we already got one. Let's see what we can do right here. Oh my god, there's two. Have we got six kills. Yeah, there's two. The SMGs have been kind of draining, man. I won't lie to you. Like, this is definitely an AR-dominated game for sure. Like, there's been so many situations where I've just struggled getting certain kills with these guns. But I tell you what, we might get it in one life, boys. Oh, we got it. Oh, my goodness. Let's just try and pop off, though. We gotta get as many kills as we can with this advanced up. Blank him a little bit. I mean, we've unlocked the platinum challenge. I'm interested to see what the platinum challenge actually is for SMGs because if it's long shot, then I'm in for some difficult time. Oh my god! Dropped a nuke right there, but let's check it out. Let's see what the platinum challenge is for the SMG. So we've got gold for the Fennec. Let's check it out. Yes, it's long shot. Surely the range for a long shot on an SMG is shorter than it is on an AR, but I guess, I guess we'll have to see. I need one more and I've been losing my mind with this thing, man. Like, why the flip have I got to get long shots with an SMG? On this game, for some reason, it's 10 times more difficult than others. Have I got it? Please tell me I've got it done. Oh my god. Right, let's take a look at this man. Platinum on the SMGs. Finally. Hey, this one was stressful. Not necessarily the ranking up, although I will say this is an AR game. SMGs are nowhere near as good. But ranking it up weren't too bad. These four challenges aren't bad at all. They're easy as hell. But this, the platinum challenge, the long shots with the SMGs, chalked, bro. It's so flipping difficult. But without further ado, let's hop into using platinum. Let's look at the platinum camo on the SMGs, or more specifically, the MP7. All right, so we officially have platinum SMGs. Hey, they look good, man. They were fun to use, don't get me wrong. If I was in a good lobby, if I was in a sweat lobby, bro, everyone running around with ARs, yeah, it's looking slow. I decided to get it on the MP7 just because it's so iconic, but I won't lie. The MP7, what? Wait. Wait. What are you two doing? Hello? Hey, can I get some camo challenges done whilst these AFK guys are hit down? Yeah, the SMGs weren't too bad. I'm actually really happy now, though. So basically... Like I said, I've got the battle rifles done, the ARs done, I've got the SMGs done now. So, you know, even if, I mean, the whole plan is... There we go. To be the road to the Orion camo, Orion camo, however you pronounce it. We're on that whole road. But even if Warzone dropped tomorrow, I would be cool because I've got gold on all the weapons. Realistically, we'd want to use, if that makes sense. Like... Oh, we might be. This is my first game of the day. We might be in a little, a little bitty butt. Hit him on the climb. But yeah, even if Warzone dropped tomorrow, that'd be cool because I've got weapons ranked up that I would want to use. And I've also got the camos on the weapons like realistically I'll be using. So that's why I went for SMG straight after, you know, the battle rifles and ARs. There we go. Bro, it feels like there's barely anyone in this game. Oh, this. Oh! I feel like the ARs need to be nerfed just a little bit just because they are a little bit too dominant. 
These SMGs are really good, like, as well. It's just the ARs are so good to the point where, yeah, it's just not... It's just not possible. Do you know what I mean? But the SMGs actually are very balanced. Like, they're very good. Some of them... Here we go. Oh, my God. If you guys don't know, first games of the days are always flipping beautiful. Flipping... Oh, bro, I need to mute the other team. There's only three people, and they're all bots. Get this guy. Oh, wait. Is he down low? Throw this down. Hey, we might be able to get a nuke first game on. This is crazy. But there's like one person in the... What the flip? Bro, no one in this lobby is playing. What have I found? Guy over here on the UAV. Ah! All right, that one guy knows what he's doing. Wait, that was it? What the flip? We actually got it, bro. This is the... Well, I think people have started to join up now. This is the bottiest lobby I've ever played in. What the flip is this? So why can I not get these whilst I'm going for camos? Oh, okay. And we're dead. You guys know your first game of the day, you got to take advantage of it because that's typically the best one. There's always a lot of like theories about why your first game of the day is always like the best lobby. And I think it's honestly because they want you to keep playing. Honestly, I feel like they give you a good lobby. So you're like, oh, I'm having fun. fun. I'm staying on rather than giving you, you know, your full on skill based match breaking lobby off rip. And then it's like, eh, I'm not really feeling this. I'm not really feeling this. Hop off straight away. She's Okay, that guy. The MP7 isn't bad at all. It's just if you get caught by a sniper, but mostly ARs, then yeah, it's looking slow. Oh, and a sniper again. Yeah, I've moved on to the shotguns. I've actually got a banger video coming up for you guys very soon. That probably explains this lobby too, actually, because last night I've been grinding the shotguns and, hey, it's chalk. Like, my KD has been dropping because I've been having to rank it up. Some of the shotguns have to go up to rank 30, bro. You know how long that takes? Because you have to get close to people to use shotguns. That's not easy on this game. So I've just realized no wonder this lobby's like this. It's because I've been flipping chalk using a shotgun all day. I probably should have took advantage of this lobby with the shotgun, to be honest, rather than running around with the MP7, because I don't need nukes. There's one of the shotguns that's actually overpowered, which I'm dropping a video on probably later today. You guys need to stay tuned on the channel for that. But, hey, it's, it's completely broken, and it's iconic, too. You guys probably know which one it is. Let's get these guys over here. Ah, you guys are wondering, too. I'm not playing with any double weapon XP or anything. I haven't used... In fact, I used one double weapon XP, and that was from the campaign. Whatever I got from the campaign, I used. But other than that, I haven't used any, like, promotion joints or anything like that, which is unfortunate because I don't think there's any promotions in terms of double weapon XP in the UK. I know there's the Mountain Dew in the US and stuff like that, maybe other places as well. But in the UK, I think we're chalked. I think you have to buy Burger King or something like that. And I'm not buying a bunch of Burger King just for codes. So I'd much rather buy a bunch of drinks that I wouldn't drink than food that I don't really want, you know? Although Burger King is lit. Don't get it twisted. I just don't really... First of all, I can't even order Burger King. So I don't want to just go there for that. And also, getting a bunch of food just seems crazy just for codes. Oh my goodness. That's why you got hit marker with his sniper. That's unfortunate, buddy. I see they're all around here. Tracker is goaded, by the way. Like, you can really see where everyone's running. I can see exactly where they've ran to. Like, because sometimes in this game, I lose people. Not anymore with Tracker. Oh, my God. Yeah, I moved on to shotguns. I'm not really enjoying it too much. It's going to be stressful. Not going to lie. So I'm going to be struggling for the next day, trying to get them done and getting the platinum challenge unlocked for them. But then we'll move on to like whatever's next after that. I don't think, I honestly don't think the road is that difficult. What I'm not looking forward to is the platinum camo challenges. If you guys don't know, the platinum camo challenges are long shots for basically every single weapon, including SMGs, which, you know, is hella annoying, which I realized when going for the MP7. The range is a little bit different in comparison to ARs, of course, but it's still 
still a long shot, so it's still annoying to do regardless, if that makes sense. So I'm not looking forward to that because 25 long shots for each gun is hella tedious. I understand, you know, the rest of the camos are easy, so you can't complain. I know, but I'm telling you, as someone that's gone for camos in like basically every game, hey, this game with long shots, it feels a little bit different, bro. I won't lie, but let's call in this nuke because it seems like teammates are about to end the game by capping the uh, hard point. Bang, hey, they're not going to expect that whatsoever. Look, this whole game, there's only been three people on the other team, bro. I don't know what type of of lobby we found but it is what it is because look at my teammates they're all sweats too mgb nuke come on boys ah platinum mp7 as well platinum smgs i will take that man sheesh but hey like i said we're moving on to the shotguns i'll hopefully have them done within a day the main thing is just ranking them up bro ranking them is just a lot to do but once you get them ranked up it's just easy nothing's difficult it's just long you know what i'm saying